Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, collected? It's your girl, Space, from Divine Goddess Tarot. Here to do this energy read. Because I feel like it. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> How y'all doing on this Sunday? Happy Sunday. Remember the time is full. I never see this message. It's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. I don't like that card. So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use another deck. Mm. You know what? Let's use the Infinity Oracle deck. Turn it down a bit. And we need to drown out the message. Spirit, what's the message from my collective? Please and thank you. Ooh, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't worry about what other people are. Don't worry about what other people got going on. Focus on what on your own path, on your own journey. You'll get there. You want quality, not quantity. You don't want to speed through things. You don't want to miss anything that's going to set you back. You know, Spirit, what's this message from my collective? Please and thank you. Take your time, I'm hearing. Positive change. That's right, change takes time. You know, I, I once heard that, you know, for all of our bad behaviors, there was a process we had to learn, and everything's a learned behavior. So, when we want to turn our lives around into a positive change, that takes time as well. That's a learned behavior. You know what I mean? Slow and steady. Don't worry about it if you're not perfect or things are not exactly the way you want. It takes time. Listen, if you're trying to, to, to regain your stability, you don't want to overlook something that may have you tumble and fall back and start at square one again. You, get it, you want to get it right this time. There could be some kind of fear and anxiety. You know what? If there's something that you're holding on to, like something that you really um, could be ashamed of or what have you, you need to find a way to release that energy. You need to find a way. If you can't, if you don't feel that it's enough to just get on your knees and pray and ask God to, uh, you know, heal you, ask for forgiveness. You know, set forgiveness for your part and whatever that situation is. That that can work. That's if you have a number. If you're creating a relationship with God, that will work. You know what I'm saying? God listens. He hears us. Remember Aku Akuwe. God hears. Akuwe. Away. Spare what's this message? But holding on to it, that that's a stumbling block. That is something that will definitely pull you back into your into darkness. Okay, spirit. Yep. Ego death. You're gonna have to let it go. You're gonna have to let it go. You're gonna have to release it. You're gonna have to talk about it. Ooh, come on, somebody gonna need to talk about it. Listen, it's gonna take your inner strength to do it as well. You know a lot of things. That we've done, we may feel because of the shame that it pull it puts on us, because it's it, it creates that that shame and that guilt because deep down inside that's not who we really are. That's the only reason it affects us. If we were really that malicious and nasty and dirty and downright no good, we wouldn't feel that empathy. There are people that don't feel that empathy. Anymore. There's people that are dead inside. But if you feel the pain and you feel the shame and regret. About some a choice that you made, and you know that uh, taking accountability for it is going to cause you to have an ego death. People may look at you different, so be it. People will also see that you're human, that you are, that you're holding yourself accountable, that you're not a coward, and still just going on as if you don't know what nobody talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be strong to do this. Spirit, what's this message? Hmm. Listen. This is the end of a cycle. It's time to move past that person anyway that you're trying to hide. It's time to let that person go. That person is tired. 
That person wants to surrender. That's the that that person wants to surrender and come out of hiding. Listen, inner strength again and take a risk. The only way our past can haunt us is because it's hidden. It will die the minute it hit the light because I promise you, you are not the only one. I promise you, you're not the only one that's done it. I promise you ain't. You ain't. I found that out. You're not the only one. You are not. Spirit, what's this message? And whatever, whatever this lesson is that you are learning, you can definitely turn that into power because you can help other people. Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? Mm, I just heard God don't give us nothing we can't handle. If he brings you to it, he's going to bring you through it. And it's bothering you because he's bringing you to it. Now you just got to be willing to go through it. Spirit, what's this message? Ooh, we got new love. Mm. Hmm. Somebody could be wanting to make some... Yeah, look, somebody want to do some inner child healing. Somebody, somebody wants to change for, for a new love. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If somebody makes you feel like your former self, your your lower vibrational self is going to interfere, damn right, that's something that will make somebody change. And it was destined. <laughs> it was destined. This person is mirroring you. You want... You want to be a better person. Somebody makes another person want to be a better person. Look, inner child healing and inner strength. I'm telling you. Somebody makes somebody want to be a better person. Not, not just to be a better version. You hear me? This is somebody that wants to be their highest self. They want to come out of hiding. Spirit, what's this message? Oh, come on, spirit. Mirror yourself for man, listen. <laughs> man, listen. Listen, somebody want us to learn how to love themselves. And maybe this new love is you loving yourself. Somebody is, somebody sees something in another person. They want that, they want that same See, I don't want to say you want what somebody else has. You want that same freedom, that same peace, that same self-worth that somebody has. You want to feel that way about yourself. And somebody, yes, this patience, that's right, twice now. Be patient. Nothing change. You're not going to change overnight. Because if you jump up and talk about I've changed overnight, you're a liar. You're tricking yourself. Remember I talked about earlier about how I manipulate myself with my nails. Oh, I'm going to fix it. Already. No, I'm not. I ain't going to do nothing until I get ready. I'm going to be honest. And guess what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the skin I'm in. I'm okay with my nails looking like this. I am because it, it doesn't validate me. It's, a, it's another, for me, it's another chore. <laughs> it's something else I got to do. You know, I like getting dressed and, you know, but every day, she, that's work. That's mental and this is what for me if my mind is focused on that shit I ain't doing no healing I'm not doing my father's work you know what I mean and I do it because I love it it's, it's it, who I am it's in my it's my nature it's always been my nature I just never had the opportunity or I was never in the environment where I could showcase it you know I had to heal I had to let go of those false narratives, those false um, promises. Ooh, come on, spirit. The illusions of this, this, and this, and that's going to make me happy. It did not. This, 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 and that made me lose this. I didn't know who I was or whose I was. I was just going along to get along. You hear me? No more. No. What's this message? Yep, somebody's ready. Yes, sir. Somebody is ready. Mirror and self will break that crazy how that came right out. Come on, spirit. Look, that's confirmation, baby. 
Yes, 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 yes. Spare us this message. Regrets and patience. Yeah, see, somebody has a lot of regrets. So it's like somebody wants to get past that part. Slow down. You got to heal that part. No, this isn't, okay, I know I messed up. I know I did somebody wrong. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Oh, no. Er, you have to really take a look at why you did what you did. Because if you don't take a look at that root, at that that cause of what made you to act the way you did you will do it again because it's still in you you have to recognize it because if you don't recognize it and and tell the truth about some shit about your about you you're going to repeat that you're not going to recognize it when it rears its ugly ass head you're not going to be able to stop it and say, oh no, I want to make a different decision because you haven't addressed it. You haven't had that conversation with yourself. Look, nigga, we can't keep doing it like this. You know why you do what you do. You're running from something. You're scared of something. You don't want to be found out about something. What is it? Tell the truth to yourself. Come on, Spirit. What's this message? Because listen, end of a cycle. This might have been an unexpected message for you, but guess what? It's right on time. Or someone could be getting an unexpected message. Let's just keep the message where it's supposed to be. <laughs> on the table. Spirit, what's this message? Mm, I'm here. Put your cards on the table. Put your cards on the table. Stop holding those. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. Put them down. Regrets. Mm. Yeah, you may have some regrets. We all have regrets. We have regrets. We make bad choices that affect other people. We all do. And we accept it, right? And we also go through this stage where we sacrifice ourselves because we feel like we owe a debt. You know what I mean? That's that, that guilt. You know, because you calm harm to another person and we only go through that now I'm telling you only people that's going to go through this that, that understand what I'm talking about are those that that deeply inside they say who they are that's the only reason they can see it other, other people that that they're dark inside really really they're dark inside for real for real it doesn't even matter they, they don't, they're oblivious to any of this they don't even they won't even find my channel I promise you hear me because God got them covered, veiled. They can't see nothing. Because they refuse to change. They refuse. So they, they, they can't see the light. Mm, the abyss. Ooh, come on, spirit. Eternal darkness, I heard. The abyss. Mm, mm, mm. Spirit, what's this message? End of a cycle. It's time to let go. I'm hearing shit or get off the pot. That's what I heard. Eternal love. God loves you. God wants you to love yourself. God wants you to have access to this. You don't want to be shut out and, and locked out in the abyss and, and eternal darkness. Never. Nothing's going right. No way out. Everything's fucked up. You, and, and on top of all that, the only visions you're going to see is the, the disgrace, the carnal carnal uh shit that's going wrong in the world it, it's like ooh we mm. it's like that's going to be all around you you know what i'm saying ooh come on spirit this is really deep now <clears throat> this end of a cycle though <clears throat> end of this cycle of regret too you can't you can't go back and change a choice that was made you know what i'm saying but you can forgive you can ask for forgiveness. You can apologize. You can make amends whenever it feels it's safe to do so. Don't go out and, and and go to somebody that you don't want to take your life and try to apologize because they're going to take your life. You're going to have to chalk that one up to the game and go to God with that and let God help you with that part. Don't self sacrifice yourself like that. All right? God will let you know what to do. But, you know, it's very important. Yeah, regaining balance and stuck. Somebody can feel stuck. Somebody feels like they're ready to regain their life back, to get balance back. Somebody can feel unbalanced. 
Spirit, what's this message for my collective? Oh. Ah, temptation. Mmm, somebody could feel tempted at this time. Mmm, but you know what? You see it, though. You see it. That's why it came out. You see it. Something could have happened over the summer. Or, or maybe this could be the summer coming. Take it how it resonates. Something happened over the summer. You were tempted to do something. And what happened and the karma for what the choice that you made, it showed you something about your self-worth. You could have been tempted. You could have seen. You know what I'm saying? You. It's like once you release something, you can see it when it shows up. It's like say you used to drink with your buddies and shit like that. Your buddies know you don't drink. All right? But you go out with them. You hung out with them. And everybody drinking him, man. You can have one, man. But you knew that if you took that one, how it was going to affect you. Because you've been there, done that. That was not really a good example, you know what I'm saying? Because, but I, you know, I did the best. But there's something that went on that, that you, that was mirrored to you. Some, oh, shit. Somebody could have did something and, and immediately when they did it, they saw themselves in a fucked up light. Mm, mm, mm. That's what this is Immediately They saw how low they were When they did it That's that mirror And whoever they did it with That's the person that trick that, that showed them See we think When I say mirroring It's like somebody copying you No This is somebody that triggers You to do something And then immediately the light comes on you You regret it you see it. You see exact. Okay, or say you don't like somebody, but you don't understand what it is. Then you do something, and immediately you realize what it was that you did. That you the reason you did it. Now you wish you hadn't did that shit. But that's the only way you was gonna be able to know what it was. You hear me? That's the only way you was gonna re figure out what it was. You need to stop fucking doing. Come on, spirit. Look, push and pull, energy, big success. Back and forth. Mm. Yep. Somebody did something that, that showed them that they, they, the reflection of themselves that they seen that was very distasteful. I'll put it like that. <laughs> what they, ooh, third party interference. Somebody did some stuff. And when they looked in the mirror, when they saw what they did, ooh, they, somebody took a risk. They did not like who they saw in the mirror. They, they somebody self worth was like somebody I heard, I seen and heard a toilet flushing. That's what I heard. So take that how it resonates. It's third party interference. Mm. Somebody may have went outside their relationship. See, that's the thing about the devil. The devil will make you think you can get away with it. The devil will make you think that the consequences aren't going to be that bad. The devil will make you think that even if you get caught, you don't give a shit, right? They a lie. <laughs> the minute sin, the minute you engage, the minute you swallow the pill, that's when it kicks in. I'm telling you, that's when the devil turns the light on. Like, look, nigga, this is what you chose. Man, listen, something was destined to happen. Yeah, things are destined to happen to us because there's lessons we got to learn. That was a lesson and a blessing. You know, I don't know what the consequences were, but the fact that you saw what you needed to see so that you can make that positive change in your life. Yeah, you're going to have to be patient. This could have taught you definitely something about how you love yourself. You know, you could have made a, ooh, ooh, I don't know, somebody could have did something without protection, okay? And now something may have happened when somebody did something without protection, you know, somebody may have caught something, you know, maybe something that could be cured, but still, it also taught somebody about how they were not respecting themselves. How this, their self-esteem allowed them to go in somewhere naked, you heard me? Spirit, come on. Come on now, come on now, come on now. I don't know who this story's for. Generous office, spiritual protection. Come on, spirit. Mm. Somebody was greedy. Ooh. And you know why? This is something that 
that is not going to, you know, kill you is because you got spiritual protection. The reason you were sh you were able to see the mistake you made is because God allowed you to see it. Some people don't get to see the mistake. Some people just keep going on into the abyss, to the bitter ends, jails, institutions, and death, right? Spirit, what's up? Somebody could be having vivid dreams about a secret admirer, or a secret admirer could be having vivid dreams. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Spirit, what's this message for my collective? What's this message for my collective spirit, please and thank you? Listen to your intuition. Now that you've seen what you've seen, now that spirit showed you what you needed to see, you need to listen to your intuition. Divine Femme, come on now. Big success. Mm. Maybe spirit's telling you that this new love is a divine film. Because remember, we what we said was somebody wanted to change their attitude, behaviors, and shit like that. Because they there's somebody that's showing them something about themselves that they definitely want to change. Somebody also may have been tempted into a third party situation, okay, that burnt them. Okay, I, it could have been sexual, it could have been... Just it, the relationship itself. Take it how it, how it resonates. Somebody's got regrets, but this is the end of a cycle. Somebody needs to start listening to their intuition. Intuition, all right. And remember, look, divine feminine again and the strength. I could be talking to a divine feminine. I could be talking to a divine mask. Take it how it resonates. Somebody listen. Start listening to your intuition, so you're not caught off guard like that again. All right. Because now it's time to learn the lesson. Now it's time to stop the behaviors. That's what you call repentance. Stopping the behavior. Energy cleanse. Summer again. Mm-hmm. Listen to your intuition. You need to do an energy cleanse. Yes, cleanse. Yeah. Pray. <laughs> and release whoever, whatever this third party is that you're dealing with. And let me say something else. Because I just heard this, this third party may not even be a person. This could be addictions. This could be sex addictions. This could be, you know what I'm saying? Take it how it resonates. Somebody needs to cleanse their energy. You sleep with whoever they sleep with. Let that sink in. Especially if you're not using protection. They still carry around somebody else's energy. And, and, and DNA. You hear me? Come on, spirit, y'all better get it together. <laughs> what we got here? Take control, hot and cold. Off and on. Mm. Mm. Energy cleanse, hot and cold, take control. Dazed and confused. Mm. This person may have you dazed and confused. This could be an off and on thing that you do with somebody that you deal with. Ah, this is like somebody that comes and goes. You know what I heard? Whenever it's convenient. Whenever it's convenient for you or whenever it's convenient for them. Take control. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what's this message? So this is somebody that you both are using each other. But this person is using other people too. You know what I'm saying? This is not something that's committed. This is somebody that you don't just go home to at night. Somebody that that's just like... You know, y'all codependent on each other. It could be through sex, it could be drugs, it could be for anything. Take it how it resonates. Somebody needs to do some inner child healing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Somebody could also have had a financial loss because of this situation. Spirit, what's this message? What's the message, Spirit? Please and thank you. Spiritual awakening, yep. Somebody's being woken up to their behaviors, to how they've been showing up. Ooh, somebody feels stuck now. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody feels stuck. How do I get out of this shit? How do I take control, right? Mm. Somebody's in two minds. Somebody keeps looking at... Somebody keeps looking at... Somebody keeps glorifying something. You know what I mean? Somebody keeps glorifying something. And somebody making something look like it's glamorous. 
It's going to be good. Like you're going to have all the satisfaction you want. You know what I'm saying? That kind of temptation. It looks very good to somebody. But on this flip side, somebody knows they've already been down this road. They know what the end of that road looks like. Or somebody could could be trying to convince somebody there ain't no end to the road. But it's a bullshit ass lie. The devil, I'm telling you, the minute you step foot on that path, the light's going to come on and you're going to regret it because the other door's going to close. You hear me? Spirit, what's this message? One door opens, the other one must close. Mm, what I'm hearing? Healing old wounds. Somebody needs to heal their old wounds. Somebody needs to get out of that, that energy of... Lack, low self-esteem, low self-worth. Somebody needs to realize that they can handle anything and everything. They can take care of themselves on the, on their own. Or well, somebody just ain't willing. Somebody just the the other shit looks too good. It's shining too bright. Mm, I, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm. I can see it. I'm in it. <laughs> destined. Something was destined for someone. Signs from nature. Somebody needs to pay attention. Somebody needs to remember that mirror, that reflection, that last time. Self-love, I'm telling you. Somebody needs to take control and love themselves. Because mm, they got a soulmate. Well, this could be somebody. Who we? Come on, spirit. I was getting ready to say somebody dealing with a soulmate, a karmic partner. Wow. Karmic soulmate. Wow. Winter. We're in the winter season right now. This is that time. Somebody's having a spiritual awakening right now. About this. About this. Yeah. Oh, I'm hearing in order to in order to make the change, you're gonna have to expose yourself. Wow. And that's that ego death. Hidden emotions. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, somebody's holding on to that. Listen, somebody's seeing now the light. Somebody's been holding on to this shit for a minute, man. Somebody's been, that's like the, 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 the one thing that if they release it, they can move forward. New perspective. Come on, spirit. If they release that one thing, that hidden uh, emotions, those old wounds, that inner child wounding, if they get that out. If they get that out, if they put it to the light, so it can go away, so you can stop holding on, ain't no shame in it. The only shame is that you didn't release it and you let it kill you. Come on, spirit. What do we want to get for a closing? Let's do, let's do the higher self because there's always a message there. There's always, always, ooh, I heard, there's always a way out. God will always give you a way out. Always a way out. You know it is, too. Yes, it is. Jesus is the way. That's why he came, so we will always have a way out. Spirit, what's the message for my collective? What, what do they need to know moving forward? What advice do we have for the collective spirit? Please and thank you. What advice do we have for the collective? Can I get one card, please? One card, please, Spirit. Please and thank you. One card. I'm going to let it hit the floor. Hit the table, I mean. Spirit, what's the message? Oh, there we go. Mm, dreams. Look at that. Let's see what this is about. And look at this on the bottom. Overcoming obstacles. Come on now. Dreams for my collective. <laughs> Dreams, 48. Somebody could be 48. Somebody could be born in 84. 48. Dreams. Our truest life is when we are in. Our truest life is when we are in dreams awake. Have you been asking for divine guidance and direction? Pay attention to your dreams. Remember we said vivid dreams. 
Pay attention to your dreams. Since the answers are coming to you via your dream state. While you sleep, your spirit returns home for sheer comfort and to check in with your guides who help shed light on your current circumstances and difficult situations. In your dreams, the answers will reveal themselves as symbolic clues in order to help you. Keep a journal next to your bed to make note of your dreams and trust your higher self to help you decipher these symbolic messages. This card may also reflect your desire to follow your dreams. If you've been questioning whether you should take a step in the direction of your dreams, your higher self is saying yes. The time is now. Do not hold off moving forward, moving toward what you want, hoping that it will somehow come to fruition later. Act now and move forward fearlessly. You will be supported by your higher self and spiritual team on this path. Move forward. You're only as sick as your secrets. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all. Peace.